My name is Lynn Stokes, and I'm a professor of statistical science at SMU, and I'm going to be your teacher in this course in sampling. So you may wonder why you need to take sampling in a data science program, because you already have so much data. Well, there's actually two reasons. One is that the sample data can be used to augment the data that you already have available. For example, suppose you want to know how your customers would react to a new product. That information isn't in your data already, but you can use the data that's there to make the information that you collect from a sample of your customers more valuable. Another reason you might want to know how to do sampling is if you've ever fitted a predictive model to a gigantic database, you know that it's a lot of work. Especially if you're in the model building process, every time you run that file, it takes a lot of time. It turns out that if you sample the data cleverly, you can get a model that does just as well at prediction in a lot less time. So we're going to talk about both of those ways of, of uh, using sampling in data science. Now, I didn't learn much about sampling in graduate school, though I took one course, but I didn't know how it's really applied. I actually learned that in on-the-job training in my first two jobs, which were at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, where I sampled ducks and geese, and at the U.S. Bureau of the Census, where I learned how to sample people. Since that time, I have done lots of applied projects for sampling all different kinds of items and things and people. Mm -hmm. For example, I've been on several National Academy of Sciences panel learning how to better sample different things. So I had one study where I learned to, where we worked on how to better sample fish that were caught in the Gulf of Mexico. Another about how to sample air traffic controllers and pilots for the FAA. Another about sampling farms, and most recently, one about sampling mothers of newborn babies. In fact, mothers who hadn't even had their babies yet. That's a little bit hard to, to find a sample list for that group of people, but we worked on it. When I teach this course in the classroom, we do lots of hands-on activities. We do lots of throwing of dice and coins and thumbtacks. So I've tried to incorporate those kinds of activities into this online version of the course. Sampling is a very useful topic. I found it useful both in my professional life and also just in reading the newspaper. And people don't know enough, the general public doesn't know enough about the science of sampling. So after this course, you're going to know it. It's going to help you both in your professional life and in your non-professional life. So let's get started.